Hi. So today I will discuss about um, what is the use of apply, l apply, and s apply. So this will be a very short demonstration on how to use apply function, l apply function, and s apply function. What these uh, return in the output. So this is what I am going to discuss. For that I am importing library mass uh, from which I am importing the package uh, and I am using the data set birth wt you can use the read.csv function and read the data uh, of your own choice but I am using this one so let's take let's have a look on the data frame on the right hand side you can click here and you can check the data so all these are numerical values and say if you want to do something like column wise or row wise so you can use the function apply l apply or s apply but there are some minute differences in the output each of these return so suppose we want to find the mean values row wise say of the 85th index the first row is having the index 85 second index is 86 third index is 87 these are row index and row wise say if you want to find the mean it doesn't make sense or to find the mean of this row but say for example if you want to find out the mean of this row uh, how you will do it so what you will do is you will use the function apply and use that function on this data frame and for row wise you will write one and if you want to find the column wise mean you can uh, column wise mean you can do write 2 so for row you write 1 and for column you write 2 and the function what you want to do is mean so you will for function you will write the mean so let's check how you will write so say for example you want to find the row wise mean so what you will write apply name of the data frame one for row wise and the function name the function is mean so mean it will calculate the mean of all the rows so one is for row right so let's do a1 and the structure of a1 is like this let's check the structure what is the output of this function so we can see here the output of this function is numerical values from 1 to 189 so there are 189 rows you, if you see total are 189 rows in the data frame so for each row we are getting the mean so for first row the mean is 273 second row 274 so if you calculate uh, the mean of first row how you will do is you will add all these elements and divide by the number of elements so that will be equal to the number of columns so adding all these divided by the number of columns that will give the mean programmatically you will f use this function apply and you can find the row wise mean so it will give 189 rows uh, mean so output will be a vector of 189 having the elements for uh, having the mean for each of the rows now say if you want to find what is the mean of first row so you you have calculated the output of a1 now you will just access the first element a1 in square bracket write 1 so it will give the output like this you can see that it is giving two things so first is the row index name this is called the name in the data frame you see it is 85 this is the name of the row index and the second is the mean of this row this is the mean so in this is uh, this is what we are interested in we are not interested in the row index in case if you want to know what is the row index of certain element you can use the function names so say you want to find the name of first element you will write names of a1 and a square bracket 1 say you want to find the first three elements so you write a1 1 2 3 you get three elements with three names 85 86 87 these are row index 
and for each row index you get the mean so for 85th index row the mean is 272.7 for 86th index row you the mean is 274.5 for 87th index row the mean is 268.5 so these are the output of the apply function so it has names and it has the values for each of the rows so this is the mean function i have used we can use the median function also we can use the sum function and we can also create our own function that is called anonymous function that i will discuss in the next video for this i am just giving a simple demonstration of how to use an apply function on a data frame row wise or column wise so if you want to do the same thing but you you want to do the column wise what you write is apply data frame comma 2 2 for column and then the same function mean you want to see what is the output of a2 see you get the output for each of the column so the column names are low age lwt race smoke these these are the names and these are the values returned by the apply function these are the mean values so for the column low the mean value is 3.121 times 10 to the power minus 1 so if you want to find the mean of this column mathematically if you want to find it by hand what you will do is you will add all these values and divide by the number of rows for row wise what you do is you add all the values and divide by the number of columns programmatically what you will do is you will use the function apply data frame comma 2 for column and then mean it will give the output like this say if you want to access the first three elements you will write a2 1 2 3 you will get the first three elements say if you just want to find the uh, you want to get the names of first three like you write a2 1 2 three names you will get the column names say if you want to find the just the names of this what you will do names a2 1 to 3 you get the names low h and lwt right let me clean this thing now see if you want to find the say the values of a2 1 2 3 what you see is output is for column low the mean is this for column age the mean is this for column lwt the mean is this say if you just want the numerical values of all these without the names of these low age and lwt what you will do if you write l a2 1 2 3 you get the names so what you do is you just write as the numeric a2 1 2 3 you will get just the numerical values you get the vector of numerical values now if you want to access the first element what you do is as the numeric first want to access the first two you can write like this so you can access anything in the output of the apply function like this right you can pause the video and you maybe you can also try to do work in r simultaneously